Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and down to the layout room again. As I said in my last scenery update video, I wanted to get more of the base scenery done up on the rest of the mine complex branch line. And seeing that I have a long weekend coming up from work, I decided to get some sculpt mold placed. That way, when it does come the weekend, I can not have to worry about it being wet and it'll be complete. I'll have a couple of days to dry. Really happy with how it turned out. It is hard to see some of the details where it's all white, but it does look pretty good. At least I think so. And I'm happy with it. The other thing I did get done up here besides the scope the mold was getting the cork placed for the ore house and the administrative building and the co-op shed and I did get the co-op shed built the only thing is I think I'm going to have to add a loading and unloading dock that goes the length of the co-op shed when I had a couple of box cars up there, they didn't really match up with the doors. And so having that loading platform there would mean they'd be able to unload stuff from both box cars without having to move them. So that pro that cropped up that I'm going to need to do. And the other thing is I'm getting kind of tired of just the brown backdrop. So I think I'm also going to get it painted at some point, probably before the weekend. That way that's dry and I can kind of sketch in where I want to have some mountains painted on it. So anyway, that's it for right now. We'll pick up filming again when I get some more work done. We'll see you guys then. Hey everyone, it's been a couple of days since the last segment. Wanted to give a quick update on what I've gotten accomplished. I did get the base sky color painted onto the backdrop. And I intend to work on getting some mountains painted onto it as well today. I have also checked the sculpt mold that I placed and it is dry, ready for paint as well. I then also, here at the far end where the mine buildings are going to be at, added some cork sheets to build up for a road and grade crossing across the switch just after the switch there. I'm hoping to do a lot of painting today. Get the, as I said, get the mountains painted onto the backdrop. Hoping to get the sculpt the mold painted as well. And just get everything that is blue with the foam as well painted. That way I can get some, hopefully get some dirt laid and glued in as well today so we will be back in a little bit after I get some more done Okay, everyone, was able to get the dirt put on and glued in, and just waiting for it to dry, then we'll get some bushes and whatnot put onto it. Okay, everyone, I've been down in the layout room for a little bit, working on the branch line, and have gotten a good chunk done, and wanted to film and show you where I'm at now. I did get the bushes placed on the mountain there 
and along the rest of the branch line and they're glued in drying. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I also did a little bit of touch up on the backdrop and that there in between the two sculptum old mountain pieces I painted a road going off to the left and then to help better blend made a hillside on the right. I then also painted a little bit of green to help break up the backdrop from on top of the sculpt mold. That way it has a little scene break and that doesn't look like it's flat against the sculpt mold. I also did get all of the dirt placed and glued in. It still is drying now. That did become a slight problem in that some of the cork that I used started to peel up because of the saturation level. And I had to weigh it down a little bit and then fix those holes from the pin needles that I used. You can still see three of them there on the right side of the ore house, but that'll get covered up with later scenery. I then also put in some wooden grade crossings there just to the right of the tape that you see there. It is hard to see with this angle, but hopefully you can notice the difference between the track and, you know, there on the left side of that little bush compared to the right side. I also painted there uh, on the backdrop a road going to the right, hiding behind the administrative building. And then I also built some tree, uh, built, made some trees, and we'll need to make a bunch more, obviously. And then I've also decided I'm going to build a loading dock coming off the front side of that co-op house. So the next things I'm going to be working on are the trees and that loading dock. So I will see you guys in a little while once I get more of that done. All right, everyone. This is the final segment of the mine branch line project. I want to start on this side and then I'll slowly pan across showing what I have accomplished in this past month or so. The first thing I wanted to show was the empty shaker. And the reason for that is when I started, it was just about full and have used it all on just this portion of the layout and on this project. The other thing is I'm still debating on if I want to put a head frame on that flat portion of the mountain that is just about out of frame. I'm not sure if I want to do it. I'm leaning towards it, but it's still up in the air. If anybody has an opinion on that, leave it down in the comments and you may sway me one way or another. The other thing that is really easy to see here is the Unitrack roadbed. I do need to get something done with it, whether it be ballasting, or doing some weathering. It does stick out like a sore thumb with the red and it being gray, but that can be worked on later. The other thing I've accomplished is I've built about 60 trees in the past two weeks. Unfortunately, doing that many trees that quick has burned me out. And so I'm going to put a hold to that, but I will keep building them as time permits and since the base scenery is done it's easy enough to get them placed and planted as time goes on. One thing that was a challenge and I don't know 
if I said it in a previous segment or not. So I apologize if I did. But I ended up using some cork to build up around the track here and do a little bit of a road. Unfortunately, when I was wetting the dirt with alcohol, the cork just soaked that up and it started peeling. And it ended up leaving cracks as it was drying in the dirt, which normally would be okay, but they were some pretty big cracks. I'll throw a picture in showing it real quick. And it just wouldn't, just wasn't looking good. Luckily, I did have the plan of putting down this gray dirt acting as gravel. And I was able to cover that up really good with that. But that was one thing that was a challenge doing this. With all that being said though, I'm really happy with how this has turned out and feel comfortable showing any visitors that I may have once things kind of get back to normal and feel good and know that this is going to be a good scene to show them. I am going to start working on another project as I can work on trees as time goes on and do a few here and there instead of trying to do a large number in a short amount of time. So hopefully this was enjoyable to watch. You may have seen something that you want to utilize on your layout. And I will catch everyone in the next video and hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.